Can you hear me? What up? How you guys doing? Um, should probably put alert box on, huh? I can't show you that though, so hold up. How you guys doing today? I just weighed myself, uh, 224. have my support Tyler thank you we've also got one from refresh Sid yo 14 months young Sinatra uh, nice. one year dude proud of you much love from down under thank you another twitch prime thanks yeah this I'm just trying I am not I haven't put any effort into like how the stream looks right now I'm using uh, nice ideas ideas let's discuss them yeah um, I just woke up I'm using the Nvidia background removal uh, there's, this is not a green screen, which is why it looks fucky. Um, my hair is kind of greasy because I just woke up. Uh, so how's everybody doing? Ooh, no problems detected. That's great. How's everybody doing? Um, the American politics affecting you. I hope you're all right. <clears throat> I've been following nice. American hey, politics. Hey Tyler, how was your break? For years. How was my break? I'm still technically on my break um, until uh, Friday, but um, I was talking to my therapist, uh, today's Sunday, it was a Thursday, <laughs> by the way, I started uh, teleconferencing my therapist again, I uh, started seeing my uh, personal trainer, but I'm calling him, I'm FaceTiming him, and he, I'm going outside and training the yard out there and uh, I'm uh, seeing my psychiatrist once a month he just upped my dosage of my antidepressants which is good because I feel great uh, you sound zonked no okay yeah so this is me man this is actually what I'm like when I'm off stream anybody that's like hung out with me outside of work knows that this is pretty much what I'm like like I put on like a like an exaggerated version of myself, you know, when oh we're we're reinstalling the IQ software, so this might I didn't think of that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so like ask JC, ask Ibohars, ask Coolman, ask John Freeman, ask Womble, ask anybody that I've hung out with outside of uh, work. This is how I'm like most of the time. Uh, now, I, I can get excited, and that's totally real. Like, when I'm starting to, like, when I, like, get excited about something, or I'm, like, trying to teach you something, I legit do get that excited. And that happens when I'm talking to Sean, my brother, uh, or Electra, my wife, um, about anything. And they'll just like, okay, calm down, <laughs> calm down. Um, Mike sounds a little weird. Yeah. Well, I, I'm re I just updated the software that runs the this. It's saying it's unavailable. Let me restart my mic. Hello? There it is. All right. Um, it's Tyler, not as crisp no. as the Make desktop arms. one. No, I know. Tyler, can you write me a letter of recommendation? I don't know you, so no. Yeah, um, I'm just gonna be using this mic for streams because it's way easier, um, if that's okay. Um, 
and obviously I'll still be using the Yeti for videos and stuff, but this gives me a bit more freedom, you know. TMVD. You should check out the stuff in TMVD. Nice shirt. Yeah, it does. It's it's it doesn't mean anything anymore now that Microsoft bought them out. But I found this on eBay. I guess this was given to like some developers or whatever that worked for Bethesda Zenimax back in the day. This was before uh, this place re was renamed to a Bethesda studio when like what was it called? Battlecry was still in development. Unlo oh wait, no, these are the people that do Elder Scrolls Online. Yeah, this is a really cool Bethesda shirt that I found on um, eBay years ago. Uh, yeah. I mean, let me. This thing's got. I don't know if you can see it, but it's got um, RGB. I wanted to do the lighting link of everything else on my desk because I I I I'm not sponsored by Corsair, but I really do like Corsair products. Nice. Thank you, Angry Donnie. This is the, uh, this is my keyboard. Oh, you can do each of these zones individually? What? I don't like fucking around with it too much, but this is the keyboard I use. Uh, this is the desktop mouse I use. This is the wireless mouse I use when I'm sitting, playing on the computer, uh, playing on the TV. My headset, uh, this is my RAM, and then I have this for a fan controller. Um, but I don't have any, like, RGB strips or anything in the system yet. I would like to get that. I know that's, like, super... Uh, I use a Corsair M65 and have used a Corsair M65 for... Oh, God, since I was in the apartment. I switched over to a SteelSeries R700 for a while and then switched back to the M65. The, the M65 is my favorite mouse. For a wireless mouse, uh, when I need a wireless mouse I use, I just switched to this. Uh, I forget what it's called, but it's really, really nice. Um, <clears throat> I bought this with some Christmas money because I was, I had just gotten the, the gaming recliner and I had been playing a lot of, um, Fallout on the TV. Uh, this is called the Dark Core RGB. I think there's a Pro Series, but I don't know what that would have. This is a good mouse. This is a pretty good mouse. Do you have any Back for Blood info? Yeah, I do. Um, and I plan on doing that video when I'm back on making videos again on Friday. I was talking to my therapist um, on Thursday and she told me that it would be best for me to like do little things the week before I come back from break because this was like the first time I had ever really taken a break to this extent before. You know what I mean? <sighs> so... Oh, random Valfact Redemption? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not going to be doing that anymore. Sorry. Oh, well, dude, you look great. Keep it up. Thank you. I'm down 40-some pounds now. You have a K95 Platinum? That's the... I think that's what this is, this keyboard. I don't know. No, yeah, I stuck to it. It is great. The break the break has been very, very kind to me. Um, yeah. Uh, how was the talk with your dad? That's a good question. Okay, so for those that don't know, um, my dad invited me out to his house for Christmas. My parents are divorced. Uh, they got divorced in 2012, and I've told the story a couple times. My mom... Uh, attempted to kill herself and blamed me in the note and uh, my dad uh, disappeared and said that I was the reason for all of his marital problems and uh, since the divorce well I mean he was never a great dad um, when I was younger he always told me that I was gay because I liked computers and not sports and I wasn't a big sports guy um, you know um, and me and my mom have made up and, and, and things are good on that front but me and my dad never really got along um, he like my parents were divorced but like they still lived together through all of high school which was hell <laughs> and when Valve News Network started taking off 
over the summer of 2014, I was still working. Like, I, my dad forced me to get a job the moment I turned 15 and a half. Like, you're working, you're, things are changing around here. As a fry cook at Dairy Queen, I worked for the Geek Squad at Best Buy, I was electronic supervisor at Walmart, I was a stock boy at a hardware store. Uh, and while I was working at Walmart, which was my last job, which I had for nearly a year before I was like, Valve News Network is making enough money, fuck it, I'm done. Um, <clears throat> Uh, I would come home from longer shifts and my dad would like throw uh, my computer stuff into the back of his truck and just drive off and throw the shit out. Um, he would always tell me that introducing me to computers was like the biggest mistake he'd ever made in his life. Uh, not, not just as a parent, but in general. Uh, he always told me that... Um, You know, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you this not to, to get pity points or anything because, you know, something happened and I'm trying to let you know that something had happened. So, I don't, I didn't really get along with my dad for a very, very long time. Uh, there was a, there was a thing that happened in 2019, September-ish, where I was going through something really scary, uh, and really, uh, like... Some really shitty childhood trauma that I had almost entirely repressed came back up. Um, and my dad brought me out to breakfast to try and calm me down, but just made fun of it the whole time. Um, and I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna go into it, but... <clears throat> uh, anyways, so my dad invited me out to his house over Christmas, and I never go and see him. He's closer with my brothers. I have two brothers, Chris and Sean, both younger. <laughs> Chris uh, was born November 98. Sean was born April 01. Um, I bet if you ask my dad that, he doesn't know. <laughs> um, but my dad, Chris, Chris, who's like my best friend, um, my, my, my kid brother was like, you gotta, can you please, like, he's really upset please. Like, my brother straight up was, like, he's always goofy. He's like the, oh, Stadia takes up no space guy, right? Uh, but he got real serious with me and was like, dude, you please, you gotta come over. And I'm like, fuck. Fine. 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 I'll, I'll go over. Fine. And, uh, I went over and sat down in his living room all awkward, like, um, so, <sighs> my dad was like, Tyler, can I talk to you? And I'm like, yeah. And he starts crying, and he goes, I've been talking to a therapist for a while, and I just wanted to let you know that I was a terrible dad, and I, I was wrong, and you were right. And it's a long story. I guess what happened was, like, he, you know, he's out in the dating scene or whatever. He's in his 60s, by the way. But he was out to work. He was out on a date with a significantly younger woman, I might add. Unimportant, but she was in her 20s. Um, and she was late 20s, and I guess she was big into virtual reality or something. Because she came to the date with, like, a like a VR headset shirt. Nice. 11 months, one more month until I am big boy. You are big boy. You've been watching for a very, very long time, DMND Dylan. Uh, Tyler, your nuts hanging out again? My nuts are always hanging out. I got big balls. Um, but so this woman was like, McVicker, do you, do you, are you related to Ty the journalist Tyler McVicker? And he's like, yeah, it's my son. What, what, what do you mean the journalist Tyler McVicker? And she's like, well, like the VR journalist, the Half-Life Alex guy. He goes, what? What are you talking about? Like, he doesn't know, right? Like, what the fuck are you talking? He's like, he's like the biggest VR guy. Like, he's always right. And he knows, like, he interviews all the pig people. 
Oh, okay. Um, literally the same week, his boss calls him to his office. My dad works in a school system. He's like in charge of transportation and janitorial. He's like the big. It's hard to explain what he does, but he's like ev he's in charge of everything for this school that isn't like teaching related. Like he's in charge of the food. He's in charge of the buses. He's in charge of the janitors. Uh, and the superintendent of the school, like the guy who's in charge of the entire school system, called him to his office, and he thought he was in trouble. And he um, sat him down and was like, "Jeff, yeah." He goes, "This is my son. Um, he's, you know, twenty or whatever." He's like, "Okay." And my dad probably thought something like, "Oh, you want me to give him a job or something?" Okay. Um. My dad's name is Jeff. Yeah. I, I my dad's name is Jeff. Yeah. Um. And he goes, "Yeah." So my son wanted to ask you a, que a question. He's like, "My my dad tells me that your son's Tyler McVicker." He's like, "Yeah." And he's like, "Uh, can you can you give him this letter for me, please?" Why? I don't really talk to Tyler very much. Why? He says, well, uh, I just wanted to talk to him if he knew when the next TF2 major content update's gonna be out. First of all, fuck you. <laughs> um, and then he went home. My dad gave me the letter, by the way. Thank you, I got your letter. Uh, I'm writing you back. Um, but, um, so my dad comes home, and Sean, my youngest brother, is there, who also has a YouTube channel. It's called With the Boys. Go check him out. Um, and my dad was like, uh, Sean, and he explained, like, the date, and he explained the thing that happened with his boss. Um, and he's like, can you, like, show me what Tyler does? And Sean's like, oh, yeah, yeah, he's, like, like huge. Like, he does his job. It's a job. And he goes, what do you mean huge? And he's like, well, he's got, like, like 350, 360,000 subs. And he's like, what? No, he doesn't. What the fuck are you talking about? And so Sean is like, okay, we can't show him, like, you know, data mining stuff or, you know, like, speculative stuff about major content updates or anything because my dad won't fucking get it at all um so my brother had the bright idea and that's not sarcasm my brother had the smart idea of showing him some of my interviews um and so i guess he showed him my second merle interview about her getting fired the uh mike shapiro interview and part of the germa interview the part where I told Jeremy about being named after the scout. Scout being named after him. Um, and I guess my dad started crying a lot. Like, a lot. Because I think what happened was he realized that he was very wrong. My dad fought me tooth and nail at every step of this process. I So, little backstory on me. I, um... I've always been interested in content creation or whatever we call it nowadays. Like my mom, when I was really, re my mom always supported this, by the way. My mom's cr got a lot of mental problems. I do too. What? Yo. You're gonna make me fucking cry. Mm. Not my point, not what I'm trying to do, but I mean, I hope that's a good reason. <laughs> Thanks for the three. Um, <clears throat> but my mom has always been very supportive of my interests, very much so, uh, but she's got you know, some mental problems, and a large part of that was the fact that my dad was a bit abusive, you know. Uh, she's a lot better now. She's with a man that actually treats her well and stuff, but my dad uh, would just throw stuff away, hide stuff from me, yell at me, lock me outside, put, sign me up for sports knowing that I wasn't very good at them, laugh at me when I was, you know, I failed, call me queer, call me gay, you know. He, 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 you know, that kind of stuff. Um, my mom, however, like, when I was really, really, really young, my mom bought me a tape recorder, 
It's like a little handheld dictation tape recorder. And because I, my mom had a radio show when I was like very young. My mom had a Christian radio show uh, that was like broadcast through Ohio in the late 90s, early 2000s. Um, I'm not religious, by the way. My parents are. Um, and I was always like, I want a radio, because like, she used to take me to the station that she broadcast from, and I was fucking enamored by like all the, the computers and the, you know, like the, the mixing desks and the microphones and all that. And I was like, oh my God, what the hell is this? And I remember one time, like somebody showed me around and was like, yeah, this is how it's done. And I was like, I remember I like for a while would tell my mom that I wanted to, to be a radio host. Like, that's what I want to do. I want to be a radio host. So that Christmas, she bought me a, a, a dictation tape recorder and told me that I could have my own radio shows. And there's like, like, there's got to be dozens of, of just filled cassette tapes of me doing random shit. Little later, my parent, my mom bought like a new camcorder and she gave me the old camcorder and I used to film movies. I used to make movies with my brothers. And then she bought me a digital camera um, and I would make movies. And then she gave like, and then I would always get the hand-me-down computers. Like whenever my mom would buy a new computer, I'd get her old computer. And that's the computer I'd play around on. Never had internet until like 07. So like for the first 10 years, I always had, you know, I would just fuck around with CD-ROMs and stuff. Um, and we would edit like Windows Movie Maker on XP or Windows 2000 or whatever. We'd make little videos. I still have some of those, I think. Oh, somebody did hack into my computer. The same person that stole all my money, one of the TF2 shitheads, uh, hacked into my computer and literally deleted every single file that was dated before 2015. Thanks. Um, And I didn't realize it until it was too late, and I likely overwritten some of the stuff. <laughs> Decommission the drive! I sent it over to a data recovery service, but... Fuck you, the TF2 shitheads are the fucking worst, guys. Anyways, um, yeah, my mom was always very supportive. My dad fought me tooth and nail. And then when I started actually making money around 2014, he really started fighting me. And he was one of those people that would be like, you gotta get a real job, you're never gonna make it, that kind of thing. But then he saw that I made it, you know, he saw that, that I was right and that in the face of him, you know, telling me that I was never going to make it and fighting me, I just said, fuck you, I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to do it anyway. Um, and he straight up started crying and he just said, you were right. You were so right. I was so wrong instead of you know, instead of trying to support you, I fought you. And I can't tell you how much respect I have for you to have the mental foresight and emotional stability to be able nice. to, like, take a look it's at so it. It's so nice to hear things are going well for you, dude. I've been watching your streams since 2015. Damn, and boy. It's so nice to hear things finally going your way. Thank you. Keep your head up, bud. Future is looking great. There is, yeah. No, there's some stuff I want to talk about, because I haven't really had one of these kind of streams in a while. I've had a lot of time to think... And I've figured some shit out about myself. But, yeah, so... Yeah, it was just, you know... So that went really well. It was really, like, important for me that it happened. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, I don't know, like... I've been on break for a couple weeks. It's gone really, really well. I'm having a really nice time just doing fucking nothing. Like, I've literally just blobbed out most of the time, you know? Like, I've done almost nothing. I've played video games. I I've played Fallout New Vegas and, and shit, you know? Uh, so, you know, like, everything's kind of just chill, you know? So I've had a lot of time to just think about stuff, you know? And I think I realized the irony of success a bit, you know? And it's like a mantra that I'm gonna have to follow because it seems to be a bit universal. Um, I think I figured it out watching Sweet Anita, which is crazy because she pulled me out of a suicidal stupor in the same way. 
Uh, she's like a fucking oracle or something. Nice. Yo. Welcome back, Tyler. We missed you. Literal lemon. That's your year right there. Thank you. Anita, it's funny. I was watching a stream of hers, and it's funny that she's just, she just fucking hates her viewers. She's just like so overtly like done <laughs> with these fucking dickheads. And I couldn't. I, I I have never related to another content creator more than being like, you know what, guys? I hate you. Fuck you guys. And obviously, she doesn't hate everyone. And obviously, I don't hate everyone. Obviously. But she hates like the simp type people, like the oh you have big boobs, let me fuck kind of people. You know, like she gets the same twenty questions about her. Tourette's and she gets the same 10 questions about you know people just trying to fuck you know and so nowadays she like opens her streams with like hi I'm Anita I have Tourette's and I'm never gonna date a viewer that's so fucking cool you know and so I have the people that'll that think I am behind the TF2 bots that think creators.tf is the literal death of Team Fortress 2 that'll ask me the same five questions about Team Fortress 2 and I fucking hate you, and you'll like hack me and threaten to kill me and, and threaten to rape my wife and those people. Fuck you. No, I'm not behind the bots. Fuck off. And no, I'm never gonna date a viewer. <laughs> I'm married. Yeah, those aren't fans though. Yeah, but you know what I'm talking about, right? So there's that. But then Anita, like, she just goes on these rants where she's just like, Guys, I'm not gonna fuck you. I'm not gonna fuck any of you. Stop it. <laughs> I mean, she doesn't say it that over... I mean, maybe she has. I, I don't watch everything she does. But it's funny because she's just like, Guy, like, are you here for me or are you here for my body? Get the fuck out of here, you fucking assholes. But, um... Like, that's hilarious to me, right? And so, like, her streams are weird. Like, I like, you know, I just kind of like her vibe, you know? She's just kind of relaxing to chill, too. I just, that, like, the thing with streams, and I, that's probably how everybody watches streams, it's just something to have on, you know? Like, who the fuck just, like, like, is, like, attached to a stream for eight hours? Like, it's something to have on, right? And, you know, so for me, it's like, okay, my favorite streamers are Jerma, Joel, Vinny, uh, Simple Flips, Anita, and Hassan. Those are the people I watch, right? And so it's like, you know, if I'm working on something, if I'm playing a game, if I'm doing something, I'll just, if I have an Apple TV, I'll just put whomever's online that I'm following, put it up on the thing. A TV and they're just kind of like yeah just something to have on and I don't know what was going on but Anita started talking about how it was I forget what she said but it was something like you know we treat women like sluts whenever women are promiscuous or they want to just like explore their sexuality or they just want to have sex we treat them like sluts and that ironically makes it less likely for them to have sex with you lonely assholes something like that right and it made me realize something. The more you go after something actively, the more you are actively, like, putting absolutely, like, try-hard mode everything into something, you're actually less likely to achieve that thing than if you were to just chill the fuck out and try and balance living your life with that thing. And I feel like that goes for literally everything. You know, she's saying it like, you know, the people that are always like, oh, down to fuck, oh, down to fuck, oh, down to fuck, are way less likely to actually get laid than people that aren't actually actively going after it, you know? For example, me! Gonna be real with y'all. I could, I could give two shits if I have sex. Honest to God. I've never been incredibly a sexual person, but I have a lot of sex. 
I do. <laughs> and so it's like, you know, maybe I've just been such a, you know, a, a mouth breathing Valve fanboy shill for so long that like su nice. like true success TL. DW desperation is super unattractive. Exactly. I I feel like I've been such a mouth breathing sycophant for so long for Valve that it's like, yeah, no wonder I haven't achieved real success. You know? I haven't chilled the fuck out. You know? Thanks, Anita. Hope to get you on letting off steam one day. I know I fucked up. I know I fucked up with you. I know my one interaction with you did not give a first a good first impression. I I I sent her like a fifty dollar donation last year where I was like, dude, you saved my life. Here's what happened. Like I was gonna kill myself, and if you can live with your problems happily, then what the fuck am I on about? She's like, oh dude, that's awesome. Fuck yeah, I'm glad you're alive. And I'm you know in the chat I rated her and I was like, hey, I'd love to interview you. I have an interview show, and she's like, oh dope, yeah, email me. And so I email her. And she emails back, but the email back was from a different email. Like, I guess she has an email forwarder or something. So I email her. She emails back on a different email, and the spam filter picks it up. And it looked like she never emailed back. So then I rated her again like two weeks later and told people to, to remind her to answer my email. And she got mad. <laughs> She's like, I did. And then I went and checked, and she did. And then I responded, but she was probably sick of me. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, missed out on a free vibe, missed out on the Anita interview. Yeah. That's what you get for simping? No, it's just being an egocentric asshole. <laughs> it's not that. Oh, that's right. You can't say that word anymore. Sorry. Yeah, but it's been like a year. I'll try again. Whatever. You shouldn't do that please be my friend thing you did with German Joel. I don't think I did. I still talk to Joel. I mean, yeah, if I come on too strong, then fine. I'll chill the fuck out, but... <clears throat> oh, did I say it during the interview? Haha, <laughs> whoops. I feel like that's what happened with you pushing creators.tf. Yeah. Agree. We're I think we're I think they're about to ship like a really big update too. Like like probably the biggest one we've ever seen from from them. Let me check cuz there might be a meeting going on right nice. now. Oh, Reno, what's up, bro? How you doing? <coughs> uh, good to see you. Clement, these are all right. I, I, I like this one most of all. It's very simple. But, yeah. Possible logo. Yeah, we're, we're looking at, at the logos for the new rebrand and all that. Oh, the, yeah, the meeting is going on right now.
Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try and not be as, like, try hard active with them. I'm, it's just kind of how I'm gonna be with everything, you know? Stop being such a try hard with everything. Yeah. You're dropping the VNN color scheme with the rebrand? Yeah. It might be TM, it might be TMV, I don't know. Does not being a tryhard match your personality? Yeah. You gonna reboot the clothing line? Uh, partially, yeah. Super random, if I sent you a logo idea soonish, would you check it out? Yeah. Did you move or something? Um, I don't think so. What do you mean, did I move? No. I did not move. Ooh. Computer did not like that. What's going on? I'm still here. Engine encoding overload. Oh, this must have crashed. Still here. Nice. Thanks. Appreciate. What's the best place to send you a logo? it to me. What happened to your room? I might have been on break. I don't fucking care. Ah, let's play a game. You wanna play a game, guys? I feel like it's been a while since we've like played a game. Tyler's dead. <laughs> oh, let's play a game. These are your choices. These are the games I have installed. Hold up. Let me let me limit the frame rate real quick. <laughs> oh, it's already doing it. Cool. Uh, I won't be playing New Vegas. I'm kind of getting New Vegas out. I haven't started this yet. I've been meaning to. Tear down. Black Mesa with the classic weapons. I haven't actually seen that yet. <laughs> Where'd you get those cover arts? It's a uh, Steam Grid DB. Get that animated portal cover. 
steamgrid.db. Fuck it, start Mafia on stream. Uh, I don't really feel like starting a game right now, you know? What about, what about this game? Where's Fallout 3? I have TTW installed. What is this game? I don't know, what is this game? Didn't they add a new map? Yeah, up here. Cool. Let's try the new map out. Not Christmas anymore. I still love this game. It's the people that I fucking hate and makes me hate the game. You know what I mean? Like, it's that try hard thing again. If you didn't try so hard, I'd love doing TF2 so much. I think Pier was one of the Christmas maps, but they like added it officially. Let's be a bonk super fan. No, that looks awful. <laughs> this is still one of my favorite games of all time, right? But it's just the, the community is just the worst. Any news about Team Contras? Boy, I have been on break. Oh, that's nice. Uh, they're they're putting a there's like a new pog face every day or something. This. There you go. I should probably use game capture, huh? Hold up. Come on, game capture, you can do it. loud. You're loud. Oh, he's got an arrow in the fucking eye. TF2 is like alcohol. It's fun in short bursts, but it's killing me and I hate myself after doing it. <laughs> I actually have a TF2 video planned, by the way. There's some news, but it's like, you know what, fuck you guys, you don't deserve the- You think you guys deserve the news? Have you guys been behaving well enough to deserve news? Merle fired information that it'll never be public. What do you want? You want Valve News Network to disappear? Don't answer that. Oh, Valve News Network did disappear. Do you want me to go to jail? <laughs> Let's put that- Let's say that. 
did my homework, Tyler. We deserve the news. Cool, man. Um, I had an idea of what if we just had, like, an FAQ, right? And if people ask questions repeatedly that are already seen on the FAQ, they get timed out. Nice. Hey, Reno. Welcome back. How many is that? Is that 20? Nice. You've gifted a total of 700 gift subs to the channel. Jesus Christ. Ends in 60 seconds. Hey, Reno's here. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, Reno has returned. Nice. You done with that, nice. Coleman? All right, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna be like doing like spring cleaning stuff. Um, starting tomorrow, nice. like like getting the the rebrand ready. Starting tomorrow, you know. It's still pretty nice. loud. I am using a new audio setup, so I guess that makes sense. Can you explain what nice. Tyler in the tub was? Uh, a joke? Mission you need an explanation further than nice. that? It was, it, I forgot, I literally forgot about it, but it was Five, a joke. Four, three, two, one. Nice. Tyler, are there any videos that we expect to disappear? Yeah, a few, not a lot. It's not like I'm gonna remove nice. the Vienna videos. For the most part. There's a few that I, I'm probably gonna remove that are just like either wrong nice. or you know very obsolete were you actually in the tub that's for you to find out was nice. i or was it all an elaborate ruse it it it'd be nice. nothing we'd notice yeah probably not probably not i like the lighting in here nice Nice. Do I have another bonk item? Is there, I'm, I know nice. there's more bonk these items. Do I have it? Everybody makes bonk items. Why don't people make Criticola items? Nice. This is a very pretty map, yeah. Nice. Is this Roblox? Yeah. Nice. Is this Prospero? Yeah. All right, let's put the frog on me then. What? Reno, thanks. Isn't there a skin that's the bonk? Isn't there a bonk skin? What? Lorem some dollars at aim at consecutive adipusing elite. Cure a bitch of Sagittus Mollis Fisher. Love Sir Perry. Oh wait, what? What's up, sir? What up, Harry? How you doing? Did I have a nice Christmas? It was alright. I mean, I stayed home. Is there a bonk skin? I want bonk everything! There's gotta be a bonk skin. I mean, this is a dope-ass skin. This skin is beautiful, but... Is there a bonk skin? Lamau, that was not Sir Perry. Oh. Keep it moving, guys. Yeah, he did tell me he was going to stop watching me because I'm going to start defending black people or whatever. Soda popper? No, I mean like a legitimate stock skin. He's like, oh, I watch you because I don't want politics. And all I said was like, hey, that's that cat storm in the Capitol, man. No. Do you still support Trump after the Capitol thing? No. Bonk vanished. It's called Bonk Vanished. All right, let's see this then. Hold up. He thought there was going to be political videos on the main channel. Oh. Bonk Vanish. How do you spell it? Oh, Varnished. No, that's Vanished. Oh, it's, it is Varnished. I was wondering. Alright, there you are. 
All right, so I want Bonk Varnished in TF2 for Scout, Factory New, go. Really? Uh, all right, well then I'm just gonna have to buy the skin itself then, right? What, what, what would it be? More pain. Yeah. Oh wow. Huh. That's that's insane. Jesus Christ. Okay. Wow. No. That's a uh uh. Not gonna happen. I'll I'll just use the soda popper. <laughs> Fuck that. What if we donate? What the hell's going on? I don't know. That's 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 a stupid amount of money. You could always buy it in worse condition. What are you, a dumbass? Yes. Is the index 2 almost out yet? I want to ask you a question. Do you think that if I knew, I wouldn't make a video on it? Like, what do you think? If I Do you think if I had, like, solid information on that, would I make a video on it or not? Come on, Doc, follow me. I don't know. I would. Yeah, thanks, Doc. That's called money. That's called my job. Friggin' doof. Fucking sick of those dumbass questions. Like, oh, is this out? Do you know anything about this? Wow. I mean, you held back information before. Curtain 3 review? 7.5 out of 10. It's pretty good. That opening track has no reason to be that long. Top, top three favorite foods that have eggs in them. No. How's life? What? That's Tiny right. on a scale of one to ten, how dead is the TF2 comic? Ten. If ten means dead, ten. No one's working on it. There's no re. There's no. It's dead. No one's working on it. There's no intention of releasing it. Happy third birthday of the release of the last one. Merry Christmas, you fuck. <laughs> Anyone else pushing this thing? Grow up. The TF2 community has a, has a severe case of shooting the messenger syndrome. Nice. Ouch. The freaking 
Am I hyped for Citadel? Yeah. A reasonable amount of hype, sure. Yeah, what's up, boo? Will I reach something for you? Alright. we win. Alright. Take the moon, and you take the moon. You take the moon, and you take the moon, and you take the moon. Oh, we crashed. Okay, that's uh, fine. We crashed. Bye, everybody.